Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India for hands-on FECO and SICS training. Observe this surgery. Peritomy has been done, mild quantity has been done and now this is a incision on the sclera, about half thickness and I am planning to do a sclerocorneal tunnel. You can see this cataract appears like a posterior polar cataract. It has firm adhesion with the posterior capsule and when we do FECO, there is irrigation pressure and there is lot of risk of posterior capsular rent in such cases. SICS appears a safer surgery in these cases and if we do a nice SICS, the result is same as that of a good FECO. We can do low pressure surgery with SICS no irrigation and very controlled, very gentle movements. It is possible with SICS. By this time, this sclerocorneal tunnel has been done, a side port has been made at 9 o'clock and now I am going to do a rexis. Size of the rexis should be about 5.75 millimeter because the nucleus has to be prolapsed out of the capsular bag. In such cases, I always select a multi-piece intraocular lens. Sensor multi-piece intraocular lens is almost out of stock, and, but we have Oro multi-piece lens nowadays and it is very good. It appears to me that it is quality wise it is better than sensor multipiece, no financial interest. By this time the sclerocorneal tunnel has been opened and now this portion is real speed. See the hydro dissection, very gentle hydro dissection, small amount of fluid is injected and then I go to another point, inject some more fluid very gently. It goes for some distance, maybe not up to the center and now I try to mobilize the nucleus gently and now I do I draw a little more and I find the fluid wave goes to the other side. I hope the posterior capsule is intact. With gentle movements, PC rent should not occur. And if it occurs, we have to manage it. And now I have to prolapse this nucleus out of the capsular bag. I have taken two Sinsky hooks and I am trying to mobilize this nucleus. Ultimately, it comes out of the capsular bag. I am gently separating it with the, from the posterior capsule and it is nicely separated and I hope the posterior capsule is intact. Visco both in front and behind the lens mass and now I am using an irrigating vectus to deliver this nucleus. Incision is just 6 millimeter so it did not come out, it broke at the incision. However, a portion of the lens mass has come out. And now I orient it in this way. And I thought visco expression will be 
possible and it comes out very nicely. And I find that the posterior capsule is intact. So, with gentle movements, with gentle hydro, it is possible that most of the posterior polar cataracts can be managed in this way without causing a rent. With FECO, it is possible we have to decrease the bottle height, we have to do the surgery very gently. But with FECO, with FECO emulsification, we will have lot of heartbeats, rapid heartbeats. Sizes is good, the heart is calm and quiet. Now inject visco, this is a small bit of cortex at around 11 o'clock. After injecting, filling up the bag with visco, I remove the cortex. The mi microscope is Lumera T, it is a teaching microscope with beautiful observer microscope. This surgery be, is being observed by Mohamed Atte from Senegal, very nice guy and he is a very keen observer and he is learning surgery very well. The lens goes, the leading haptic is placed in the capsular bag. The trailing haptic is held with the Macpherson's forceps and it is placed in the capsular bag. And now we have to remove the visco very nicely. I irrigate with a simco, irrigate the anterior chamber, irrigate the capsular bag behind the eye well. And now I take the bimanual irrigation aspiration. With the irrigating proof, I irrigate the anterior chamber and irrigate the capsular bag. And I irrigate and aspirate for some time. And all the visco has come out. Nice sealed wound, very nice corneal valve. We will not require any suture to the sclerocorneal wound. And this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely. And now I always put a releasable suture to oppose the conjunctiva. And I remove this suture after four days, after three or four days. A ten on nylon, three loops, hold the thread and pull. And cut the th long thread with the needle short and keep the other thread little longer. On slit lamp, just pull the long threads and it will come out. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.